Hello, this is Mark from tradeinform.com and welcome to this video on how to amend the length of data in a Tradeinform backtest spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet that I've got open on the screen is the long short model with the Ichimoku trading strategy. And if I scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet, we can see that I've got 2000 rows worth of data on the daily time frame. This is equal to about seven years of historical backtest. Now I've got some additional data and I'm going to show how easy it is to amend this spreadsheet to incorporate the additional data. Now I've got it open here in a another spreadsheet and this goes back to 1989 and goes to 2015. So we've got a good lot of data here. I'm going to do it the easy way which is simply to highlight all the data, press control to copy it, reopen my original spreadsheet and copy it in, making sure that the date, time, open, high, low, close columns remain the same. This is very important. We need to, those columns are used in the backtest model and they always need to have the same data in them. So apart from that, the number of rows doesn't matter to us. So we can see as we scroll down, we've now got just short of 6,700 rows worth of data, which is great. However, the backtest model itself is only still 2,000 rows. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to get to the end of the previous model. If I just double click on the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to copy down all the um, is the uh, technical analysis, that is the Ichimoku. And I can just highlight here as well, so I highlight the backtest model. Do the same, just double click on the bottom right hand corner and the spreadsheet will automatically copy down everything here. That's great. Now we have the backtest model that is testing some 16 years worth of data. The next thing we need to do is take a note of the last, the final row, which is 6699. We need to go back into here. Now we do have the backtest model that is accurately modeling all the data. However, our row, our results table is not yet accurately modeling it. We can see here that it's set up to go from row 4 to row 2000 and we wanted it to go to row 6699. So all I do is I do a find and replace. I just pressed control F to bring that up. I want it to change 200 to 6699. I'm going to click replace all. It's made seven replacements and it has updated just check through all here to make sure that it's updated all of them correctly. So you can see now that all the data there is reflecting the increased range of the spreadsheet. If we want to change this, we can just come up here and type in 6699 under the chart data range. Click OK. And now we have the extended period of time here. We might want to change the underlying market. We do exactly the same. I'm just right clicking on the, the uh, table here. Bring in 6699. Looks okay. You can see our underlying market graph has also updated to reflect the additional data. So there we have it. That is how quickly and easy it is to, you might want to change the market or the historical range. And that is how easy it is to do in a trade informed backtest spreadsheet.